guys. Um, let's get this started. <laughs> let's get this started. Um, you might know some differences between where I last left off and what's happening. Um, well, file problems. Apparently, this game doesn't have good file problems. So, I decided to, um, play this one. I did test out the mod. It is a very good mod. I probably get a 9 out of 10. I probably get a 9 out of 10 out of the mod ratings. It's a spot on mod, really good. Um, definitely worth the play if you really like mods. But, my least favorite part of it, they made Japan really like, godly OP. Is it joking? I, I don't know what's going on with Japan. Um, some of the, some of the things here. Oh, crap. Game don't lag on me. Don't lag on me, game. Like, some of the things are a bit out balance. Some things don't feel like it should happen. Yeah. Like this. What? What the? What the frick? What the frick? I'm so confused. But yeah. But yeah. Definitely a mod worth checking out if you're bored. And also fix our manpower problem. So yeah. It's a very good mod. If you like mods for games. It's Hearts of Oaks. And I may put it in the description. And yeah. So let's get this started. This is probably causing a lot of my lag. So yeah. Let's go. That's better. Right now I'm experiencing a bit of lag. Oh, the audio won't be the best quality, but yeah. So yeah, fuel is definitely a problem right now. Wait. Did they take all the fuel? Darn you! And a lot of the fuel a lot here has been draining my fuel. So yeah, I only have to send that. This Spanish Civil War happened. I'll show you our focus tree now. It's really nice and cool. You got something for the Kriegsmarine. You got something for the Luftwaffe. You got something for the German army, which has like two sets. The Wachapa, which takes lessons from the Spanish Civil War. And you got this tree, which it's super awesome because you have because you can actually um, follow the you can. It actually encourages you to um, take over countries and everything. Mobilize the Reich is very cool. I'm probably gonna have to get this one. This one I meant. It was really good. So yeah, probably next. Gotta make a research. And it's a very good game. It, 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 this game, this mod definitely helps improve this game. So yeah. This is probably what makes the game great. This thing. So yeah. We're planning to attack Poland and they're outnumbered, dude. They they only max 82 divisions. Minus the 35 bird. I get all I have like 120 divisions. They're outnumbered. And it's plus there's a lot of it's Von Bach, Rommeld, um, Carl, the student. And Maximilian all attacking. Um, Brommel's gonna lead the summer to flank. 
taking out this search. Mock will go for the for Warsaw. Um, the northern half, Maximilian, um, he'll go down south and meet up with Rommel. And Carl will go along the north and heading to Warsaw eventually, taking Danzig and stuff. That's the overall plan, but we of course will make the make some packs with the Soviet Union. But we can. Can't wait for this stuff. This stuff is really cool. Operation Barbarossa, I didn't do that for my first playthrough. Be honest. Be like, wait, what? But yeah. I Italy's planning to join the Axis. It, it actually has a pretty um they can join the Axis. They have a whole entire route for it and it's pretty cool. Definitely worth doing this stuff. And all the countries are really balanced too. Except for Japan, which during my test game through for this campaign, holy crap, they took over all the east. Everything east is dead. And they took over like half of Africa. Holy crap, it was big. And they were invading the freaking United States of America. See? It can happen, boys. It can happen. Man in High Castle can happen. But man. Man, it makes me angry, and it's like, oh, you did not do that. He did not just do that. But yeah, we're going to lower down on the Navy, so we can save our fuel. And I am constructing fuel saddles right now, at their naval docks and everything. Patience is the key to this game. But yeah, Lithuania folded. Thank you, Lithuania. But I mean, the Soviets are gonna hit a pack and say, um, yeah, um, let's do this crap. Call. Right now, um. So sorry about this, guys. Um. There's got a call from him. He was in that. Wait, um. Oh, yeah. Um, I have to call it back, but yeah. But yeah. This mod is pretty well made. It's pretty balanced. You can have a lot of fun and freedom with it. Um, it's a definitely recommend for you guys who like mods. And by the way, I recommend playing Germany because, and then because then you have this because I play Germany. And holy crap, I, I conquered a lot of crap. Everything here was conquered. So yeah, welcome guys. Spain will not conquer anything more. I had my empire. They had theirs, which much more territory apparently. Holy crap, there's so much territory. I, I wish I screenshot that campaign. It was so big. I might show it to you guys in a later video. But yeah. They're probably going to get more divisions. This is what I'm worried about. This like rift here. But yeah. I'm worried about the spreadness of Von Box forces. It's pretty spread out. But I'm not too worried. I put Manstein on the western front. I put Manstein on the western front to watch. He has like 35 divisions, which is pretty big. It's like the biggest, like, he's like the third biggest army. But yeah, the Western Front's important to hold. They had, they just had a civil war. Come on, they only have 31 divisions though, so we outnumber. We, they have at least 31 divisions, and this whole our army outnumbers them. It's like holy crap, guys. But yeah, I saw Soviet Union get like 800. He has like 109, that's, which is a lot of divisions. But he's pro but he has an empire, so it's going to be hard to manage. He has like 200, 210, 247. Um, yeah, they have to manage their colonies and everything, so I can understand the spread out. So probably make five to two divisions. Probably a lot of divisions in Africa. Some defending their colonies here, and probably some spread out, so yeah.
probably some in Canada and everything. So yeah, a lot of divisions. A lot of divisions for for mastering this big empire. France doesn't have enough divisions to defend. Yeah, when we played, um, Italy did really well, actually. Italy did pretty well. They took out a good chunk of the UK. They took all of Egypt, and we're beating them back here. It was a long campaign, but, man. But Italy has, like, 165, which is probably enough to overrun their colonies. Yeah, I'm going to use all sorts of over there, and I'll focus on this. This is mine. Thank you very much. But, yeah. But yeah. Honestly, I'll give you a spare knowing a lot of factions. My star piles are being drained! No, uh, no, we're gonna get beaten with you. Actually, Spain is actually having a civil war, which is pretty big, actually. On the spectrum and none of these sides are winning he has a lot of divisions a lot of trained ones and he has a lot of divisions too so yeah but he has the upper hand so he's probably gonna be done back his name in Portugal and me applying him he probably will win so yeah I just have to patiently wait for um yeah divisions here are being built up again and our army group will be formed. Um, yeah, I have more fighters. If you're wondering, yeah, I have more fighters to burn through. Oh crap, I gotta get rid of the other old one. To be 30. There we go. That's how you manage your resources. Manage your resources, kids. Like your potions. Yeah, follow west. But yeah. I'm planning to try to get to mobilize the right. That's my plan, but yeah. Also, prepare the Creed Marine. It's probably my biggest one. So, yeah. Poland will fall super easily. If the Soviet Union joins, they're dead. I. I didn't fight the Soviet Union, and I didn't want to, because they're they're so big, they're so big. I don't want to fight them. Like, no, oh, come on, the Germans did. Well, the Germans had a lot of supply problem. The far as I can probably make it, um, probably some Linux. To be honest, probably some Linux is probably the farthest they ever gonna make it. Maybe to Leningrad, but not Stalingrad or Moscow. Spain will join me for sure, probably take back all their territory. Japan will probably join me and probably divide all the Soviet Union's forces everywhere. But Japan, this is huge. This is huge! And plus they're fighting China, so... Yeah, they're gonna probably gonna drag the United States in this too, so... Yeah. I will show you my naval forces. We have a big... We're building up our navy. Plan C is going underway pretty well, lastly. Yeah, we are plan I'm planning to control this English channel in the war zone. All my naval forces will be here and probably take out the English channel. Or strike them and everything. But yeah. I don't think the French will act on attack me. It would be nice to have Ram National. If I didn't ha if that doesn't work, I'll do um uh, Switzerland. I'll go through Switzerland. So yeah. Wait, what? You're gonna go to Switzerland? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to Switzerland, boys. We're going around Switzerland and taking everything out. But yeah, this, the Civil War, they were winning, but the committee had all the colonies. Um, this area, all the African colonies, and Eurasia. So yeah, pretty much all the wealthy colonies. So, not an easy fight. So yeah. Here we have enough divisions to probably punch you. Maximilian's ready to go, boys. So yeah. So that's the plan. I 
don't have enough political power to burn too. I want stage a coup and <gasps> I stage a coup one time in um, England and I did it in the Norman pipe like Goss Girl in Edinburgh. It, it lasted a pretty good while. They got wrecked though. Don't try to do in capitals, try to do somewhere else. They divert forces. I'm, 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 I'm pretty confident Japan will win this fight in here. By Japan, they're in a uh, Break the London Neo Tree, finally. You know what that means? Blitzkrieg. Yes, I have Blitzkrieg, boy. And we're not doing that right now. I'm sorry, but... Alright. Okay, now we can do it. Since I have, like, an extra research slot. Since I really need the oil. Apparently. There we go. Improve oil line. That's what I need. I'm very curious. Has anybody watched Avatar The Last Airbender? Because that was a bloody good show. If you say otherwise, I'll bloody kill you. Come over to your house and slap you. I think the Spanish Civil War has gone to the standstill. When I take out friends and everything, it won't be a standstill. Oh, God. That's my rule. Everything will be under Cade's rule. Sooner or later, so... Yeah. I will rename my empire the Cade Empire because I will control all of this crap and then I'll control everything here. The United States will be like, no. I think they're turning um, fascist. No, they didn't turn fascist. And when my in my game, my test game, they turned fascist. They had a blank page. It was called Juno Mexico. I was like, I, if, they, if they get, if I can fight them, they can attack the United States. And then Japan finally can come in and correct them. But yeah. But yeah, that didn't happen. Remember me. Man, Coco was a sad movie. Made me sad. Greater Bulgaria. Yes, Legion. Join us. All these guys will join us. So I have a buffer between this stuff. Suffer here. Then I'll take it. Then Italy would take all this stuff. And then it'll be all mine. Ah. Mwa. Like the evil laughs that uh, Mega Mind does. He's like, Mwa. or something like that. Some crazy dude dudes. Oh. Oh, yeah, they're doing support China. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. So, yeah. I think this is going pretty well, Ashley. My worry is rubber, probably. It's my biggest worry. So, I'm probably going to trade a lot of rubber. So, I can stockpile it. And then, when I get out everywhere, I won't be low on rubber. Because rubber is required to make planes and stuff. And if I want to nuke this London area, I need a lot of planes. Because I didn't use a nuke in this area in my test game. Why? Don't ask. Evasion. A lot of evasion happened, and it was. This is. Probably. That was a very fun game. I wasn't staggered because. Because Spain had more. More diplomatic powers to take a lot of territory for some odd reason. It made me very confused. And. Yeah, it's a very balanced mod, and. Yeah. I personally like this mod. If you're gonna question me, should I get this mod? Yes. Get this mod, boy. It's probably a very fun and entertaining mod to see what happens. Like, come on, look at... It looks awesome, looks beautiful, and yeah, I'll just show factions because there's a lot of action. White's neutral and red's allies. Dark red's communist and... Blue over here is Chinese, and that's white is here. It's, it's white, 
is champions and then the axis is over here boy boy the axis is gonna be op axe of powers will control all their world sooner or later yeah i'll probably i'll probably have my allies hold me the seven flanks and they will take all this and i'll go take this stuff that's my plan if i can have some control over my allies but i don't know because they suck But yeah. Probably when Italy joins the Axis, it will be pretty nice. Honestly. And that's nice. Personally, I'll take our ult. I did try to attack Poland early, but that didn't allow me to do that. So yeah. England's probably working on Polish guarantee. And has. They have to keep Poland. Yeah, Woof Lafa. Yeah, Woof Lafa. Woof Lafa. Woof Lafa. And everybody's like, <gasps> That should be Nelson Asian, boy! Poland doesn't even have enough planes or anything to hold me against me. Yeah, they can't fight me. They only have Danswick. They have a lot of manpower, but... Look at me. I have enough manpower. They beat the crap out of you. So don't make me come over that, Poland. I'll murder you. And you will not fight me again. So yeah. So yeah, has not been basically in the shape of the yeah. Oh man, I've been yawning all day, but yeah. Ooh. Man, yeah, I'm planning. I wish this would go faster, but yeah. Just so something exciting can happening, but I just want to show you this and everything because I felt like I needed to launch a video and I haven't got it because headset problems, so yeah. It's nice to be talking again. Like Japan conquered all of this except for Tibet. Tibet boys. Like they were the most powerful nation in the world. They were so lucky. They destroyed the United States Navy. The Navy did nothing to defend the Philippines. I feel bad for Poland because Poland has such a unique history. People remember the state that lost in like two months. But Poland has such an interesting history that I don't want to get into it right now because I can talk about Poland for five hours and no one will know I'll, know I'll be talking about. So yeah, you're welcome. You played yourself. And one sign. I can mobilize the like. I need to mobilize the like. Modern battle fleet. That's nice, but uh, I don't need that right now. Probably nicer in the later game, but. That's probably would help me a lot. Because I got Maxo transports, and that's nice. You can transport your whole entire army, so I can see Lion the crap out of the UK. Okay, you have to banish it. I forgot this raider because I'll make you actually 10 months. But yeah. I can't wait. What's going cool to happen? I guess this game is really fun. Yeah. Personally, really fun, but. Okay, I'll put the wrong button. Let's make it go a bit faster because. Yeah. Speed need speed. So yeah. Germany is a really fun starting nation for this mod. I haven't played any other countries. Japan, I think it would be very fun to play. To play your troops in this stuff and just take out all the communists and stuff and take over all of this crap once the war gets going. Um, I think Italy would be fun to play as too. Pretty hard, but people are just play. 
Now I say they're probably always the strongest country. With all its resources and everything, it will probably be the strongest country in the world. By my standards. But yeah, I need to loosen down stuff I was at this rate. Maybe I should cancel these orders and not let them go off the rails yet. Yeah, we can do that. RES jobs pamphlets. Estonia has a really cool history too. I I, I saw the Estonian uh, battles, and it was super cool. Like the Estonian army almost took Leningrad, boy, and they beat back the Soviets pretty hard. They beat them back all the way to Baryskin, I believe. Beat them back all the way here, and it was really cool. They recaptured all this territory. Estonia, it, Estonia. <laughs> Romania is a good starting nation, but you probably don't have enough resources to have the Soviets. Uh, Italy is pretty hard because they're weak. Pretty weak. Um, Spain because of the Civil War. Soviet Union would be a very easy starting nation. Get a lot of free territory, and you probably just can march down here and kill everything. You probably can kill everything with all your resources. If someone says Germany is not the strongest nation in the world, they're joking. Germany is pretty strong, but probably not the strongest. That kind of goes to Japan, Soviet Union, or the United States. Because Germany has the pretty much the army to kill all these guys, but doesn't have the resources, doesn't have the navy, and doesn't have the power to beat all of them. UK is pretty strong too, because it's island and empire. Yeah. I'm thinking outside the box. I remember one. Yeah, this is more accurate. Thank you very much. I took all Denmark's territory. At one point in my life. Cool fucker. Oh no, I swear. No, don't you tell them to eat nonsense. I'm too small to be demonetized. So, yeah. You're like, what's the purpose of Manstein here? To pretty much hold the line of the German border. Because Manstein can't die. Manstein can't die, boy. I'm signing all divisions to the fallback line. I got that. Because, dude, this is Magino. And I'm not gonna be Magino today. I'm gonna I'm gonna blitzkrieg them through Luxembourg and around Sudan, beat them there, and then hit Paris, and bloody they all die. See, isn't that interesting and much more fun than well, more well than neutrality? So we need to go to World War America. Germany over here with a lot of territory in the middle of Europe. Neutrality. Neutrality card. Britain. Neutrality. Japan. Neutrality. French. What? <laughs> but yeah. If I could, I might download another mod for, um, for modern day. Show the modern day. But yeah. Yeah, I know this is boring. It's just me, like, wee, wee, wee. but the action will definitely pick them probably next time because I'm playing hitting that. Um. So yeah, I'll do probably ten more minutes of this, and time and everything. Not one hour, I might do a live stream, but yeah. Of me playing as, uh, probably one of the other nations. I'm probably gonna play. They thought, for now, I'm so happy they have so much power, and 
They were like getting in. I'm like, oh crap, they're gonna kill us all soon. But yeah, that's probably my. After I beat all my enemies, they're probably my next target, to be honest. Wait, why they would be your next target? Aren't you supposed to be allies? Yeah, but I have a respectful mind, and I know how powerful these guys can come. They can come so OP. They got all their territory back, and they have, they have a lot of territory right now, but yeah. It is a temporary piece. They're gonna push on to these guys. Temporary trees. Probably doing that to conserve forces and probably push in our friend in later in the laser season. My, by the way, there's no winter there, so China doesn't agree. But China has a lot of numbers, so. God, is she a power? Japan had good general. It China had good generals. They could be back these guys. Boom. By Manchuria, you'll be being came under the Empire of Japan. Um, of China, Republic of China, China. People are probably gonna hate me for that comment. China. We gotta make friends with China. But yeah. Now we can finally see balance. This. Wait, what the, what the, what the heck happened? Oh crap, he landed. Yay, they capitulate. That's what I should have done. Should have done a large amphibious assault. Like, really quickly. And of course, it's like. But yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? Probably my favorite thing in the universe. Mobilize the rank. I did this later game and it does help a lot, actually. So, yeah, let's help. I just want to attack Poland already because once I beat back Poland. Wait, it's only February. Darn it. I'm at this one. April. Comes April. Come April. These guys will be allies. I'm gonna say I was to the Soviet Union. After I take out everybody, conquer all this crap. By Soviet Union, by Japan, the United States will be hit by a two-pronged invasion. One from the north to attack to this. Canada, one to the south, attacking here on the west coast, one to the east, northeast, northwest, east and east, and then take out the United States by a two-front war. That's what I do in a lot of games. They got the United States in a two-front war they can't handle. Maybe I can do this in the meanwhile. Boom. Boom. We Boom. I just got to get naval supremacy and then boom. They're all gone. No. Ambitions. Valianta. Benita. No way you What I'm nervous about is probably. Uh, I wish they didn't. I wish they went into this. Because they need army. It's powerful. They're preparing for the First World War. That would probably be a very nice one to do. Those two would probably be nice. And then probably this stuff would be really good too. But... The douche. Are they calling him a douche? <laughs> They're calling La Via Douche. Yeah. And Germany, you actually can make it a public, a socialist public. Another offensive is happening right now. Please, Nationalist Spain. I would send volunteers called Manstein.
Pedal calls air support in Western Germany. I wonder what happens when I take over the world. Well, we beat the game. I beat both total. I beat me with two total war and Rome war and Rome total war. I beat those games. Rome total war was pretty fun to beat. As they, I haven't beat. I beat it as the Greekans. So come on, being the Greekans and the Romans. So I'm planning to be as the barbarians. So yeah, I'm playing as German. German to be Hey dude. Hey, 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 dude, 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 dude. I want all this territory back. Give me it back or I'll murder you. I probably do one where the Assy the Germans won the war because I need something like that in my life. Or Germany won World War One. How many divisions? 18, man. Man, 18 divisions. Eighteen divisions. What happened? Hmm. Let's get more easy. Cause it's nineteen thirty nine, boy. So yeah, I want to get to the action part. I'm working towards the Panzer IV right now. But yeah, I'll show you some of the cool tanks. I love the designs, how they show the tanks in this game. Um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna go like till like end game. But yeah, they have the Panzer and the Panzer also J, the Panzer also A, Panzer Alpha G, the Smungus design, and of course the Tigers. You can't have Germany without Tigers. Yeah, and you get all these cool ones, which I would love. I'm probably gonna get those probably later in the game. Probably the end game when it hits 1945, I'll have everything research. Because I made it to 1948, and the war had not ended. I was like, they tried to deem me for so many years, I'm like, I'm bored. So I decided to do something like this. They were like, oh, why are you doing it? We want to see what happened. I'll tell you what happened. So I was pushing in the front, and they were pushing me back. They took, um, they were pushing me back actually on the French border. I did take out Czechoslovakia. So I naval evaded onto the on the Pre La Croix, and I pushed down. And then Spain finished up their civil war, and they pushed south, and we just collapsed them. We never broke the march line. The Maginot line was very effective. But yeah. I'm gonna call this a day. So guys, I just wanted to post this video and so I'm still here human being. So you have a good day. A splendid day. And I'll see you next time on Plater Channel. I'm coming for you, Japan. I'm coming for you.